I understand that there is music playing in the background and there's also um, these words on the screen. So if this is annoying to watch, annoying to listen to, I'm really sorry. I have just had zero time. Here's the announcement. You're gonna hear me talk about it at the beginning of the, the next clip. Um, but I just moved into college. Woo woo! I'm like an adult now, living on my own and all that good stuff. But the thing about that is I am beyond busy. Like I have even less time than I expected I would have. I have barely even had time to like get on Neo Monsters. Like I literally haven't had time to do the balancing on trials right now. I'm not even kidding you. So that's why I haven't been posting. It's been very busy, way more busy than I ever could have comprehended. And I do not have time to play Neo Monsters, much less record, commentate, edit, and post. You know what I'm saying? So sorry about that. Sorry for the just like completely cold like stop um i hope everybody's been doing well without my without my daily content also again i'm really sorry for like having the words on the screen and not have anything to do with the words that i'm saying um but yeah just thank you everybody for understanding i don't know how often i'm gonna be able to post maybe this is the end i doubt it's the end but like i don't know when i'm gonna have time i really don't so thank you for understanding, seriously, like, I appreciate everybody that subscribed and kept up with me, people that have checked in, like, it's just awesome to have support like that, but I don't know how I'm gonna be able to keep this up, I'm being honest, but thank you everybody so much for watching, enjoy the next clip, which is me beating Dungeon Challenge, and I guess I don't know when the next video I'll have will be, but I will see you in that next one, <laughs> thank you for watching. Before I start commentating over this, I just want to say one thing, and it's that um, I just moved into college, so surprise, if I don't post as much, just understand that I'm busy, and I will still try to maybe post every day, but I don't want to guarantee anything because I don't know what my schedule is going to be like, I could be super busy all the time, or I could have a bunch of free time, you know, it's, it's going to be an adventure for all of us, let's just say that. And also, <clears throat> honestly, I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have to even play this game. But hopefully I have enough to just, like, clear the events, you know? Uh, there, by the way, was super scary. I thought the Stormlock was going to kill one of my monsters. And I was like, dude, I literally just started the first floor. If I lose a monster already, I'm quitting. But anyway, um, just I want everybody to be aware of that. I know you all understand. Um, this, spoiler alert, is me completing the dungeon challenge. I did it. I told you it wasn't going to happen live. Um, this recording was like 30 minutes long, maybe 40, honestly. And I did not want to commentate over uh, stuff that was that long. So I did speed it up a lot. Uh, sorry if it's a pain to watch. Like, I know it's a little hard to keep up. But at the same time, do you really want to watch these boring battles at regular speed, I really don't think you do. <laughs> I'll tell you, I didn't want to play them. <laughs> so just, you know, you know, you're fine. Here I was a little worried with that fan toys and uh, I realized he didn't have stun absorbers. So I was like, okay, never mind. This is so doable. Basically, I'm gonna not spoil anything except say it was close. And I did like completely forget about friend monsters for the majority of this, like, I really did just forget that I could call a friend monster uh, throughout most of this run. So that was, that was a mishap on my part. But other than that, well, no, I can't even say it went well. It, it really didn't go well. It was, it was terrifying. I, I was very scared uh, near the end. But things went, I guess you can say things went well because I won, but that's about it. And also, this happened a couple days ago. Um, I'm just now getting time to commentate over it. So I don't exactly remember all the stuff that happened. I'm going to try to do my best to keep up the live commentary with the stuff moving so fast. But, you know, everybody, uh, everybody has their downfalls, and mine is not being able to talk at the speed of this uh, replay. But this, like, this battle here, you can see this was super easy. I had nothing to worry about. These are the kind of battles I love running into for Dungeon Challenge. And then there's stuff like this where I get repulsed and there's a 70 second energy charge into piercing kill. Like that stuff is scary.
but it's nothing, um, since it was only three monsters, it was really nothing that I couldn't handle. And at this point, I was thinking, hey, you know, I'm actually not in a bad spot. I'm about to beat the boss of the third floor. Um, so we're like, if you think about it, that's like over halfway to halfway there. So I'm like a quarter of the way there, and I make it to the boss just fine. And this Huskegan scared the heck out of me. That uh, Swift Fast Strike shocked me that it didn't kill. And then the Piercing Blow did kill, and I was so mad. I would, And then that double time crush, I was like, okay, dude. You've got to be kidding me. I just lost like my entire front line. I lost both the twins. So now Draco Rosa is completely useless. And Cimarronix really can't do much uh, without that setup. <clears throat> so I was really scared here. Uh, but you'll see that this one-on-one -on -one team actually does pretty decent work. Uh, it gets me through a fair amount of this uh, of the challenge. Um, I almost lost my Oni Blade there, which was terrifying, but the Pure Cure Plus from Crimseus is super helpful. Having a full heal and purify uh, in this event, super nice, really a uh, really good thing to have. And here, this Wrath Engine staying awake was also very helpful for me because it lets me basically charge up Blaze Bones as much as I want. Um, there you saw it did some really good work. And then the Mega Bomb kills my Jackal Hotep who granted wasn't a huge, like, huge uh, contributor to my team, but he he was helpful, you know, having the uh, the switch friend into Crimseus' uh, Purify and Pure Cure, that's what it's called. So I was, I was scared here. I was not thinking that this was going to be the run. Like, I just didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Uh, but here, luckily, having a Pola boss and then the Energy Blast from Blaze Bones was enough to take out the Yukis from the Revenge from uh, Kirikami, which was scary, by the way. I was worried that Detox Strike wouldn't kill, but it did kill Emeraldius, which was super helpful. Detox Strike is a very strong move, so that was nice. I decided to poison Shiva Dragon because I knew he wouldn't be able to crescendo and purify like at the same time. So I killed the Amalgamon and poisoned him. This one was scary, having a stun counter and a sleep immune monster with his um, dreaded wave. There was like really nothing I could do to stop him because my polar boss was asleep and like I can't heal him up at all because I don't really have any healing monsters. So I lost my polar boss there, which is really unfortunate. And here I was so mad because I went up instead of down. And of course I ran into another battle. <clears throat> and of course I almost lost my Nova Drake. And if I had lost that, I probably would have stopped on the spot. Like, there's so much that can go wrong in Dungeon Challenge, and it was just, it was not the most fun time in the world, for sure. Just, <laughs> to all the people out there that have beaten Dungeon Challenge, you understand, it's not easy. Uh, there, luckily, Lava Hawk didn't have Stone Absorber. I thought he did, so I was a little worried about getting, like, getting destroyed by that. Uh, but he did not have it. So that was helpful. I was able to stun uh, the Dolphries before anything super bad happened. Luckily, my Heaven's Worm was able to stun everybody so that I could get my one-on-one uh, -on -one off on Oni Blade. And you'll see, like, this team does pretty well. Having Blaze Bones and Bunker Beast and Oni Blade, like, you can keep pretty good control over most battles. And then the Heaven's Worm there, the Camouflage, uh, meant that the stun flash missed so that I could do my own stun flash, which was helpful. Um, but, like, there's a lot of scary stuff that can happen. There, I almost lost my blaze bones, but luckily I have the healing light charge on Heaven's Worm, which is also really helpful. Here, just trying to kill this Tricera. Took me a while because, you know, Hellfire Mortar double, I'm trying to make sure I can keep everybody on as close to full health as possible. Um, I am going to recommend, like, if you have Heaven's Worm, he's a pretty good addition, having that, like, decent speed and stun flash. Obviously, Galio Dragon is the preferred, but I don't think I use Galio Dragon in this team. Not sure why, actually. Maybe I do, and he just died really quickly, but if I, if I don't, I would probably replace Heaven's Worm with Galio Dragon because the fast stun is really helpful. Just that's my that's my piece of advice for um, for dungeon challenge. But unfortunately, you saw the Specter Fox with the high speed Stealth Bane took out my Heaven's Worm, so it didn't matter. Here, of course, I run into a Shadow Worm, 
who's like horrible to run against because uh, I'm just going to lose my Oni Blade. And then, of course, uh, after that, I get an Execute, which just insta-kills. Uh, so that was really bad. I did summon this Pandranorca, which was my chosen friend monster for this floor, which actually helped out a lot. Like, I don't know how I would have done without that Pandranorca. So shouts to whoever's monster that was. This here, I was like trying to set up something so that I could get a, uh, get like a desperate all, get some kind of setup there. And you'll see, I make a massive mistake and I decide to use a uh, charged survivor because I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just, I'll just kill the Loon Arctic and then he'll be at low health. But of course they're buffed monsters. So the survivor recoil just kills Night Hunter. So that was a complete waste of a monster. Honestly, just a st really stupid mistake. And this Defang does nothing against Tridracon because it's Draco Rosa into a buffed fire monster. But luckily with Toxic Give Turn, I'm able to take him out. This battle here looked scary, but then I realized like Nova Media, really she's just going to Elemental Shield ally. So I can kind of feel free to use the stun anyway. And then leaving that Angel on there really helped me kind of gain back control of my team, heal everybody up a bit. And you'll see Nova Drake is essentially doing what a Galio Dragon would do in a normal uh, Dungeon Challenge team, is just having a high-speed stun. So it doesn't always work, because like some teams you'll come across stun absorbers or stun immune monsters, but usually there's like one or two monsters that are that'll be open to stun, and so you can just... Uh, stun flash, stun wave, sorry, like really quick into the battle. And it's helpful, except there, Kronazer uh, was stun immune and fast struck my Crimseus. So I lost my heal. Now I've got Cimarronix, and that's like my only healer, which is really scary. And then, of course, here, a Razor Ray, uh, who's going to be able to laser blast and kill somebody, but he decides to Sonic Blast, which made me really happy because I was terrified of getting hit with a Sonic Blast because I'm on the last floor and I'm down to, I think, yeah, five monsters. So I have a team, one reinforcement, and my friend monster, and I'm going into the last floor and you never know what you're going to run into on the last floor. So I was really scared here. This is when I started to like actually utilize my friend monster because I was like, I need all the help I can get, you know? <laughs> so... I did my best. Uh, luckily, nobody was uh, nobody countered stun in that front line, so that was a pretty easy battle. Here, I got scared. I was like, okay, if I run into a battle that's going to kill one of my monsters, I would have been so mad because I went the wrong way down the dungeon again and, of course, ran into another battle. But luckily, I didn't encounter much until this one, which really scared me, <laughs> um, having the Valzerain. So I was able to kill him, uh, and also able to do a summon Moji, swap for Moji, so I could get another Glorionix entrance to help, you know, maintain control. And then I made it to the last battle. And of course, there's an Ar Archeoceros. I was so mad because, like, he is one of the monsters that completely just shuts down Junton Challenge because of the high-speed uh, piercing move. And especially since he's buffed, like... It was so terrifying. And I look, and next in line, he's got a Petrovire Revenge monster. So I got hardcore saved by having this Glorionix as a friend monster um, because that combined with the stun wave from Nova Drake was enough to stun everybody out of play. And I was able to finally get the win on the dungeon challenge. <sighs> oh, yeah. Maybe I should have I should have trapped you down here with you. Only joking. Yada, yada, yada. It's my nightmare. Whatever. Thanks, Scarlet. Thanks for making me waste my time. And I know I said this, but like I, I said this in the last video, I have no incentive to beat Dungeon Challenge because I already have the icon. So going from 90 to 100 is basically useless. And you'll see here, I was like, okay, well, maybe it'll be a new icon. Uh, but I go to check my icons and it's the same one I already have. There it is. Uh, that one with Scarlet. I was like, dude, you've got to be kidding me. So all this pain and suffering was for nothing. But I did get a good video out of it, working towards that achievement section, completing Dungeon Challenge, you know, X number of times. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully the fast gameplay wasn't too hard to watch. Uh, but thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.